Welcome to Affinity Photo. In this video, we're going to cover sharpening before exporting your final image. Whether you're exporting for web or for print, sometimes adding a bit of sharpness really helps with the overall clarity of the image. There are several techniques we can use in photo to achieve this. So first we'll look at unsharp mask and we'll go ahead and add it here as a new live filter. And if we zoom into the image, we can see generally it's soft all around. Now this image was, I believe, shot with a telephoto lens on the long end, so this is pretty typical. So what we'll do is we'll choose a small radius to begin with, something like 0.5 pixels, and increase the factor. So by giving it a small radius and a large factor, we're just sort of accentuating all these tiny little details. So I'll go ahead and turn the live layer off so you can see the difference. So even just a bit of light unsharp mask can make a huge overall difference to the sharpness of your image. Here's another example shot with the long end of a telephoto lens and once again if we zoom in we can see that generally it's quite soft. So we'll go ahead and once again add our unsharp mask filter. This time however we'll use a larger radius so let's take it to about four pixels or thereabouts and try and use a smaller factor rating this time. So if I go ahead and turn the live layer off you'll be able to see the difference. So using a larger radius as opposed to a larger factor acts more like a clarity filter in a way. It tends to accentuate the larger details rather than the finer ones. So rather than sharpening the whole image we can use a high pass filter with a blend mode to combat the higher frequency details and just sharpen those. So again we've got a meerkat here who is rather on the soft side. Well this time we're going to duplicate the main layer. We're going to go to filters, sharpen and high pass and if we zoom in and increase the radius we can tailor the amount of high frequency detail that we want to end up sharpening. So I kind of, I want to stick to the small details really, so I won't use too high a value. And that should be about right. So I'll click apply, and then all we have to do is set the blend mode to linear light. And if I turn this pixel layer off, you'll be able to see the difference from adding a high pass filter. So we've managed to sharpen the high frequency details without sharpening the lower frequency details, which can sometimes be good because you could have a noisy image or you might want to leave the low frequency details unsharpened. Finally then, we'll look at clarity. Now, in some cases, your image might actually be quite sharp to begin with, but you may just want to add a little punch to it. Clarity which, once again, we can find as a live filter, doesn't necessarily sharpen your image, but what it does do is add some mid-tone contrast, which gives the impression of a sharper image. So we'll see here, if I drag the radius slider to the right, it's quite subtle, but we'll see it begin to add more contrast to those tonal areas. And if I uncheck the layer, you can see quite a difference. So that's another way of sharpening your overall image. So don't forget all these filters we've looked at can have various blend modes applied for creative effects. You can use them as layer masks to affect specific areas and you can control the intensity of the effect using the opacity slider. Don't forget to check out the other photo tutorials available. Thank you for watching.